Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna talk to you guys about today is how to go viral. I recently worked with a guy named Nathan Faust, who's a rapper out of Nashville. He came to me with a piece of content and said, hey, I want to promote my new song by going viral with this video. Now, I can't show you guys the video here as I'm pretty sure that YouTube would take it down. So what I do is leave a link to that in the description below. But the campaign ended up being a major success. The video has amassed over 25 million views between platforms like Facebook, Instagram and Reddit. It was even picked up by Worldstar, and this happened. Since then, his song has gone over to receive over 200,000 streams in total, so I would say it was a successful campaign. Now what I got from this campaign is that with the right strategy and with the right content, this could definitely be duplicated and you guys could be going viral in no time soon. So with that being said, I wanna walk you guys through the process that we went through so that it can help you guys out in the long run. Now the first thing that you wanna make sure that you're doing is creating actual viral content. I don't know if you all have noticed, but it's pretty rare that you see something like a music video or just a clip of someone vibing out to their song actually go viral. You want to make sure that you're creating content that's actually interesting, can create conversations, or makes people want to actually tune into it and watch it for longer than 15 seconds or however long that the clip is. And one of the best ways to do so is to create content that targets high arousal emotions. Now these emotions are awe, anger, anxiety, fear, joy, lust, and surprise. Targeting these emotions will usually trigger people emotionally, giving them a reason to react to your video and share it or even have something to say about it. And when you're going viral, the main thing that you want to do is to create some type of conversation. Now, in the case of Nathan Faust, he targeted two of these emotions, fear and joy. Joy because the video was genuinely funny. I saw a bunch of people in the comment sections who were talking about how hilarious it was that his mom came in and dragged him out of his room, creating that conversation around that. And also fear because on the flip side, side of the coin there were a lot of people who were in the comment sections of these videos talking about how it was wrong that he was playing around with the gun this was around the time that x had just passed so there were a lot of people who were sensitive to the issue of gun control so he did have people who would come and get him about that but either way he had people talking about him whether it was because the video was funny or because they were mad at him about the gun in the video and the comment that he used for it as well but either way he had people talking about him which like i said when you're running a viral campaign the main goal of the campaign should be to create create conversation. Now the next thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you're disseminating the content to relevant high engaging media channels. So in our case once again our strategy was to attack Instagram pages that made sense for the niche that he was trying to target. So we started out by having him post a video on his page two days before we got the very first page to actually post the content. Going with the music based channel because of the song that he had attached to it and then spreading it out to meme pages since the video was genuinely funny at least to me. So in an instance of you guys' viral content you'll want to make sure that you seek out pages and other media channels that make sense for the content that you're trying to make go viral so let's say that you have a video of a bunch of animals doing something funny and you want to attach your song to that content and spread it out that way you may want to go on Instagram and start to find animal pages or pages that are just centric around posting content related to these types of animals you may want to get it posted on meme pages and you may even want to get it posted on these pages that talk about music just because you have your song attached to it don't be afraid to try to hit different niches and different demographics depending on what type of content that you're actually trying to use to go viral. You'll also want to make sure that these media channels have actively engaging and high engaging followers. So let's say that you find a Facebook page with 3 million followers. If they're not getting a significant amount of likes or comments on their previous posts, you may want to stay away from them. Whereas you could round up a bunch of 200,000 pages who may be getting around 20,000 to 30,000 likes per post and you may want to target those instead of the bigger pages. All in all, you'll want to try to reach out to as many pages and as many media channels as you can to get them to post your content. One thing that you want to do is try to create the fear of missing out effect, which in my opinion is once someone starts to see you on multiple channels, they start to wonder 
who is this person? Or what is this content? Why do I keep seeing it? It must be something that means a lot or it must be something that's important or that's already going viral, which causes people to want to talk about it more and share it to their friends so that it seems like they were the first to show it to their social circle. So just to give you guys a little recap, the first thing that you'll wanna do is make sure that you're actually creating viral content. Like I said, you rarely see someone going viral because of a music video clip or just something of them vibing out to their music. You want to make sure that you're creating content that targets one of the seven high arousal emotions. This way you elicit an emotional response from people and get them talking about your content or your video or whatever it is. The second thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you're disseminating the content to relevant, high engaging media channels or pages. This could be anything from Instagram pages to Reddit groups to Facebook pages. You just want it to make sense for your niche and for your content and for the demographic of people that you're trying to reach. The best way to do so is to try to target as many of these pages that make sense for you. That way it starts to look more natural to people on the outside. They think that it's actually already going viral they want to try to hop on the train and talk about it to their friends and to their social circle and start to push it out that way. And another little bonus tip that I didn't really talk about in the video but it's actually very important is make sure that your song is attached to the video in some type of way. There's no reason to go viral if you don't have all the attention being pushed back to something that makes sense for you and benefits you in the long run. And as always guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey and I'll see you y'all next time.